to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom. And in the firm faith that the dead, the living, and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome family to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and you're acclimatizing to the new earth because family, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, thanks to every single person that has subscribed to the channel. We appreciate love you too, so much, guys. Uh, special shout out, of course, to our Patreon family. And just a full disclosure moment. I've been getting all your really deep personal emails family but i thought it's important for you to know that my emails are screened there is someone who checks my emails before they get to me just because i have to protect my energy so they won't read through your whole story but there is definitely someone who will put eyes on your mail before they reach me and i highly recommend that you do everything beloveds to also protect your energy please watch the show that i did on protect your energy at all times because that is so important but I wanted to talk today about the final test of this time. And it's not what you'd expect it to be, the final battle, the final, you know. Because, beloveds, the new earth is here. I'm literally living in it. And what got me here was not beating my enemies and, you know, um, being victorious on that material level. It was self-love it was loving myself enough to take the necessary steps where i closed out that book of life and i started my new one and self-love is about you know putting yourself first in all ways because if you don't love yourself beloveds you cannot love anyone else and if you don't love yourself the universe can't trust you to move into positions of chosen ones that is the final test. Do you love yourself enough to do right by you? So many of you as chosen ones, you're focusing on doing right by others, freeing the world, fight, you know, freeing nature, doing this, doing that. But do you have enough self-love at first? Because now we're, up, we're down to the nitty gritties, beloveds. We're down to the bottom line now. And you have, to, you have to show the universe that you love yourself enough to do right by you so that you can be trusted to love the world enough, to love the people enough to do right by them. And the act of self-love is the ultimate test because I told you a lot of people who came with high, the highest gifts we came in with a spirit of service, a spirit of almost like a sacrificial love. That's how people would look at it. And that's what, you know, which has made us almost appear like doormats to the enemies of our souls, to the agents in our lives who, you know, who maybe we spoiled with our love. Maybe that's how they saw it. They saw it as a naive thing when it really wasn't. But now it's that season where in order to break away from the enemies of your soul, there's no real battle or fight what you have to do, family. It's about loving yourself enough to heed the word of spirit in your life, to make the necessary moves, the necessary adjustments that will move you into a position where you can truly live your best life and be of service to others. Because self-love is what is going to set you free. A lot of people are in their current situations because they, they've put others above them. Whether it's your children, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your parents, whether it's your family, you've put those people above you. And you can't, beloved, because you are a reflection of you. So you have to love yourself enough to truly give love to that other person. And if you find yourself putting anyone above you, then you're out of balance with love. And that love may not be as pure 
as you think it is. It's out of balance, either because you see yourself too low or you see them too high or whatever the thing is, but it's out of balance because you can only love others to the extent that you love yourself. So what does self-love look like? Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Welcome back, family, to Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. The final test that you must pass is self-love. Loving yourself enough to do what's right by you. That's what the universe wants to see right now. That's what the Most High wants to see right now. That's what your spiritual team wants to see right now. Because you have to move into a space where you can create and beloveds you can only truly create from a place of peace you know and it is so critical there's like a bee that's just you know loving the feminine energy but um there's there's uh there's a transition the transition we have to make beloveds is from one narrative to another like when i talk about narratives it really is everything like if you can overstand that and some of you will be asked to break certain connections, break certain relationships, move to certain destinations that you never ever thought you'd move to. And it's all about the act of self-love because the act of self-love means that a certain book in your life, not even a chapter, beloved, a certain book in your life has closed out and you have to allow it to close out so that you can release your, your, yourself, your, yourself energetically from that story so that you can be part of the building of this new earth because we're building it right here, it's now, it's here. But we build it through our minds, we are the builders, beloveds, as well as the high priests, as well as the teachers, as well as the preachers, as well as, you know, there's so many roles but we're building that new narrative here, we're starting to build that consciousness and that's why the act of self-love is everything because you have to move into a place now where you your peace is the most important and necessary thing like finding your peace and maintaining your peace is absolutely any you know everything anything yeah and if finding your peace is absolutely everything then you have to release jobs circumstances people situations that mess with your peace, that rock your peace, that put you out of balance. And that also means having a level of trust that the universe will do right by you. But a lot of us beloveds, part of the, the old programming was that we didn't trust ourselves. We were, we, we, there was, there was a, the division was created within where we felt like we would hope, we would dream, we would manifest and nothing was happening because there was manipulation. But in this act of self-love, beloveds, it's about really submitting to your own spiritual authority and doing, putting your self-love to a level where you will do the necessary clearing to hear yourself and your spiritual team correctly and clearly. Self-love means really standing up for yourself, not putting up with any kind of words, labels, conversations that put you in a lower frequency. Lower frequency right now is the snare, beloveds. It's what will get people caught up if you lower your vibe. And so anyone who puts you in an emotional state, and you'll feel it now, the more you love yourself, the more you'll become your greatest defender, you'll be like, no, you can't talk to me like that. You can't treat me like that. And in standing up for yourself, beloveds, that's how you get your power back. Remember, we call our power back daily. Daily, family. You have to get into doing that. But the act of self-love is the final test. Will you love yourself enough to do right by you in your relationships, in your work, in where you live? Are you really living as a goddess, as a god? 
as a queen, as a king, as an emperor, as an empress? Are you living on that level? Because what you see around you reflects what's inside you. And I'm telling you, beloved, as I am changing, my environment, my, my whole life is changing. Like the paradise on earth is just manifesting around me and it shows what the work I've done inside me. But there were some very difficult choices that I had to make in terms of self-love. And putting myself first was the vengeance, was the justice. Because then everything else must balance out. So there are certain, you know, decisions that the spirit will be leading you to take about people, about places, about work. And you have to trust. That's also an act of self-love. To put your strategies, your spiritual team first, to love yourself enough where you will build your empire and you will be great. But a lot of the self-love that is being demanded of us right now is endings. Loving yourself enough to close out that book of life of the darkest of times. It really was. The new earth is here, family. It's absolutely just breathtaking. And in a twinkle of an eye, you can be there. In a twinkle of your mind, literally. Love yourself first to see that ultimate transformation in your life, beloveds. And I'm speaking from experience. Love yourself first. And all the troubles, all the enemies of your soul, when you're shifted into the new place of self-love, the, the place where your love demands to be, the kind of environment and atmosphere, all that is bothering you, all that is worrying you, all that is throwing you out of balance will miraculously just start to fade away. Tukopamoja.